Hey, good morning, Sarah and Sam, and you gaggle of boys. Here is the transcend that we looked at last before you went to the zoo, which I hope you had a blast. Um, I think you guys should consider this. The real only downside is it doesn't have an outside shower, but most of the RV parks are gonna have a hose. You can hose the kids and dogs off with those. Um, and the size inside. But remember, you're gonna be spending most of your time, hopefully, outside under the awning. But I do understand you got four kids and some dogs. But that's the only downside. The pluses of this, of course, is the quality, the price, $26,995. <coughs> Pardon me. So uh, it's the least expensive of the three. We've kind of narrowed it down to. It's the only one with solar on top. This is all being powered now by uh, its battery, which is being maintained from the 165 watts of solar on the roof. The refrigerator on is on out here and cold and working, so that's kind of an advantage. Um, the build quality, the insulation, that's the biggest uh, pluses on this. It's gonna be, I think, the only one of the three with a ladder to the roof. It's going to be the only one of the three. I don't think that the Colorado has a heated and closed underbelly. It's going to be less of a four season camper. This one certainly does. This has R9 insulation on the walls, R40 on the front cap and the ceiling, the roof, and R30 on the heated and closed underbelly. So cold weather, hot weather, a little bit better. Um, let's go inside. It's a good floor plan considering that it doesn't have a slide out. It has as much or more countertop than either one of the other ones with a slide out. The refrigerator is eight cubic feet. No fins, Sarah. And it's actually on right now. And I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the ice? Is the ice coming through? So that's kind of neat that it's working out here all by itself. <clears throat> Standard uh, oven range and microwave, but you're going to have a lot more storage. Even though this doesn't have a slide out. Grand Design is going to give you more drawers, dedicated uh, trash can place right here. Aluminum sink, the others are going to be plastic, I think. But more storage, more storage, storage under that uh, couch, which rotates, I think. Yeah, I like these better than the jackknives. So that will rotate into a sleeper. But then when it's a couch, you've got the divider there. Um, these cushions are reversible, Sarah. You can either go checkerboard or not. It's going to have a smart TV that, come, TV that comes with it. <clears throat> I know the Colorado doesn't have a TV in it. I can't remember the other one we're looking at, but I'm going to go take a video of it. A um, little bit of extra storage under the bunk on this. Windows on both. It'll be the only one with a porcelain toilet. And it's a great big shower. And you still get a really nice private bedroom with a full queen. I think one of those two had a short bed which is kind of ruling that one out I think eventually this one is the full 60 by 80 queen 110 units and uh, the plug-ins and, and USB plug-ins place for a TV and because you have dogs it's nice that the vents aren't on the floor and this might be sometimes they put a dog tray in there but yeah, consider this one because even though it's a little smaller inside, 
it's a great option for $26,995. So I'll get this to you. This is the only one I have right now. There'll be more coming in, I'm sure, but the darn things are going up almost every time we get a new shipment. So consider this one. I'm going to take a video of the Colorado, and then I have to remember the other one. I can't remember the other one we were looking at yesterday, but it'll come to me. All right. Very good. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go camping.